So the Israelis have not claimed credit for it, but all uh, indications are that they did this. Why would they do something like this? Simply put, why would you attack uh, the sovereign territory, which is what a consulate or embassy is, as you know, of Iran? You want Iran to attack you so that you can precipitate a war that will involve the United States against Iran on your side. If Iran engages in a war for Israel, that's not a pinprick <clears throat> tit for tat, but a serious war. Wouldn't you expect Russia to come to uh, Iran's side? People don't seem to don't seem to understand or grasp it. You have the failed war in, that Washington's been waging in Ukraine. Ukraine is destroyed, and we continue to provoke Russia at every opportunity. I think they're talking about stealing three hundred billion dollars. Uh, Russian funds and turning this over to the Ukrainians. The fools on the hill want to do this. Th this kind of behavior makes it inevitable that if we become involved in a conflict with Iran, that the Russians will come to the aid of Iran. There's no question about it. They, they've they deployed forces down into the Red Sea. Their submarines are already in the Indian Ocean and the Red Sea, and they have forces in the Mediterranean. So th it's a foregone conclusion that if if we are dragged into this, we will end up fighting with the Russians directly. By the way, to get back briefly to the Iranians, I think it's important to understand that over the last five or six weeks, we've heard nothing out of these so-called Iraqi and Syrian Shiite militias. They've gone quiet. They had been attacking us. I think now after this uh, strike on the consulate, we're likely to see them stir once again and begin attacking us as well as the Israelis if they can do it. Do you think the uh, Iranian government has restrained them? Yes, I think the Iranian government pleaded with them to back off. And unlike the Houthis, who are far more independent and autonomous, uh, the Iraqi Shiite militias heeded the, heeded the call for restraint. I think that restraint will now end, and they'll probably work very, very hard to attack us, and as I said, the Israelis in whatever way they can. I don't think you're going to see a deliberate counter-strike from Iranian soil. Because again, the Iranians don't want a war. This is a thing that, that has to be understood. Nobody in the region except the Israelis and the United States are enthusiastic about the war.